Welcome back to the Brew Crew Podcast, everyone. This is episode 110. 110. Welcome back. Brews Day Tuesday. 110%. Best day of the week. Brews Day. I just came up with that. Were you in a fight? I was. I got bruised, and I was like, Brews Day. Brews Day. It rhymes with Tuesday, but we have a podcast called the Brew Crew Podcast. Rouge Day. Uh, Taco Tuesday. Mm. Yeah, Taco Tuesday, Brews Day. Tacos and beer. It's a great combo. They go together so well. Mm-hmm. So well. What are your favorite tacos and beer? Go. All right. Regular tacos. It's a good question. Delicious. Regular tacos, regular beer. Authentic tacos. No, no if... Let's see. <laughs> All right. Let's really talk. What's your favorite taco? Peel on this onion. Yeah. Yeah. I, well, we now... It. it was a joke at first, but now I'm walking no, out. Yeah. No. Victor, you guys familiar with Victor's Tacos? Victor's. They're expanding. Mm-mm. Anyway, there's one Where's going in... Victor's? There's a, quite a few locations, but there's a new one going in... Um, Right around the right around the corner from D twenty, um, but they have a pork atabata taco that's Ooh. out of sight. Highly recommend it. Good to know. I like authentic tacos. I like corn tortillas. I like lots of freshly chopped onion and cilantro oh, yeah. on there. Like more authentic. Yeah, I want the most authentic. Best tacos I ever had were in Illinois. Uh, this is a Mexican little tiny shack that uh, that's the best. was owned by some. Some from Mexico Mexicans, not like you know, they were immigrants basically. Uh-huh. That's what I'm trying to say. From and, uh, Mexico Mexicans, the, it burned down. Yeah, I don't want to, you know, like there's some Mexican Americans, I mean, like Mexican Mexicans, Mexican Mexicans, right? Not and it burned down. Well, they are American now, I think, because it was so by hot. now, probably because this was like 20 years ago. Their taco shack was literally on so, fire. So, this shack was across the street from a uh, Super K. Remember Super K? Do mm. they still have Kmart? Is that still a thing? No, Kmart's not a thing, Kmart's gone. They're all gone. Was, was a Kmart. So. It was a version of Kmart. I thought so. That included groceries. It was across the street from that in Bridgeview, Illinois. Bridgeview, Illinois. It was fantastic tacos. Mm, Matt. Best I've ever had. I, <clears throat> tacos are... I, I don't want to... Don't misinterpret what I'm going to say. Tacos are tacos. I like tacos. I... There are some... I understand what you're saying. It's not a fine line. Yeah. I, I think there's ta- a fine line. Tacos, I'm in. Good. You're in. Unless you're, you're you're pro taco. Unless yeah, unless you're putting like sloppy Joe meat in it or something like that. Yeah. Like, you know, it's uh, for local. You're Taco you, Bell alumni too. I love Taco. Oh Bell. yeah, I love Taco. So Bell. good. good he's pro taco. Um, That's I, he's pro taco. Like, what about like buying hard shells and cooking them at home? I that, I won't eat those. I don't really like to do that. Uh, That's the one I want once eat. a week. I don't, don't like taco night hard shell. Yeah. Box but you do hard sh- you do hard shell. Uh, very rarely, just because oh. of the carbs, but yeah. um. I do look forward to a hard shell, but I do a double decker style where I'll wrap uh, bean. Oh, yeah, man, nice refried beans. That way you don't lose the integrity because you're gonna snap that taco. Oh shell. yeah, it's snap. Um, but for a local place, uh, uh, La Taqueria Mex- Mexicana yeah. down on Third. Third. Yeah, yeah. Yep. You the only the only place, one. the only thing that's that place is at fault is you can't get a beer when you're there. Carry in, but you're not gonna be able to you get. You can alcohol. carry in. Um, well, I don't know. I would, but I just get that shit to go. Oh, okay. Speaking of carry in, how about have you guys experimented with carry out alcohol yet? No. Mm-hmm. Thoughts. You bought my my growler. Yeah. Well, I mean, there the laws are are even laxer now. Yeah. Like I I can get a styrofoam cup of beer to go from. The oh restaurant. yeah. No, oh, I haven't that. done that yet. Yeah. You can do I have that. not tried that. You can no. do that now. And they're going to, the, I think the rumor is they're going to try to make that a permanent law. Like, I, heard I think that, it's brilliant. I heard that they were going to try to make it permanent. I also heard that if you are on a row with multiple f- restaurants, yes. that they're going to make it, like Oregon District, they're going to make it so you can carry and drink oh, open carry. on the street. Oh, yeah. great. Well, that's good. That's but only in limited places. Yeah, it is a long time coming. Yeah. Especially Welcome. places like that. Yeah, it's 2020, yeah. you know? Let's yeah. get real. Let's mm-hmm. walk into the Goodwill with, you know, whatever I've got from, you know, OE or something. You right. Know, let's go clothes shopping. That You know, that benefits Goodwill. That does. You'll spend more. Oh, yeah, you're drunk. You're drinking. Drinking. The money's I spend, I spend more. Hell yeah. There's... there's. We, I look good know, in everything when I'm drunk. We we, we know Chuggalos yeah, try that on, need to suspend their Amazon account. Like when they've had like yeah. a breathalyzer for Amazon or like eBay purchases. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know, I'm not going to name names because that's not my style. But they're all there. So I've been there before, you know. I I often put lots of things in my cart of Amazon. And then I intentionally do not check out to, let it, marinate, to let it marinate because I'll... 
90% of the time, I go back and I delete everything in the cart. Mm-hmm. I'm like, I don't need any of this shit. Yeah, yeah. This is just shit that I was looking at when I was bored. Yep. I don't need an all-edge brownie pan. Right. No, I'm oh, guessing that's... Oh, I do love all-edge brownies. I, oh, yeah, those are good. But I don't need it. You don't no. need it. I move everything to save for later. Oh, our save for later is 20. I don't even mess with that. Ridiculous. I don't even mess with that. 21 deep. Wow. 21 pages? No, 21 items. items. I that's know for a fact. Oh, I just saw 15. 21 pages. That's not that deep. Yeah. <laughs> We alphabetize. That's deep. <laughs> yeah. Well, I do that. Don't Be- know what's in there. JT, beer news. Beer news. Ohio can't do this. You guys will know what I'm talking about in a minute here. But uh, Kentucky is doing their statewide Proud Beers uh, Festival. Is uh, um, where they, you have to make... Uh, Beers, 25 breweries participate in making beer from with ingredients from Kentucky. Oh, okay, yeah. Kentucky. Well, good so luck. The festival is happening. Um, it was, a, I don't know, there's a bunch of people quoted in this article saying it's like Kentucky's best beer festival. Not a lot of fruited sours, I'm guessing, in Kentucky. Probably not, not a lot, lot of fruited of... sours. Um, well, they can't grow hops down there. Okay, they can't? Is it like Ohio? Like it's worse than Ohio. It's <laughs> it's lower in latitude. There's some some breweries I've heard of. Some I haven't. I won't read them all. But um, sounds pretty cool, if you ask me. You, but you didn't. They can't. So, they can't grow it in the eastern part, like in the, uh, the altitudes. Mountains. Yeah, in the mountains. Well, maybe. Would that defeat a little bit? Is it? I don't know. I'm not sure. Crazy. What What are some some, you know, things that grow in Kentucky? That you that corn are, you can make into beer corn, <clears throat> okay. Rice because from ash. ash. I don't know, maybe. No, probably not. <laughs> Hillbillies. Hillbillies yeah. definitely. You don't want to put those in your beer though. Meth. Ooh, that'd Methyl. be an interesting beer. You'll get fucking what wrecked. What would you call that beer? Bluegrass. Ooh, I like that. Bluegrass. Yep. Bluegrass beer. We are terrible at uh, agriculture of uh, Kentucky. Yeah, I don't know what grows there other than mountains and corn. Yeah, people, people. They have like cattle and stuff there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, all right. I guess horses. So, they have a lot of horses. Yeah, yeah horses. Oh okay. yeah, we drove uh, the Woodford. You can probably brew, brew a beer with a horse. I would think so. You can make glue. You can filter it make through a beer. the hair, like that beard uh, beer we talked about Ew. two years ago. God, mm. I remember that conversation. Filter the beer through horse hair. Horse hair beer. Yeah. You know, I'm in. Call, call it try anything. Mr. Ed's Brew. Try anything once. That's what I'd call it. Mr. Remember Mr. Ed's Ed? Brew. Yeah, I love Mr. Ed. Talking horse. You know how they got him to talk, right? You guys know. Peanut butter. Peanut butter. Yep. So they get me to talk. Really? Yes. Yeah. Every day before I come into this podcast, I eat peanut butter. Yeah. And now I'm ready to talk. <laughs> before that, though, I don't eat it. I don't talk. You don't speak to I anyone. Peanut butter. Yeah. Uh, my other story is uh, Michigan Brewer. I have to find it because I forgot what the name is called. It's like Sue something. Uh, dang it. Yeah, Sue Brewing Company. <laughs> <laughs> Sue something. <laughs> I thought there was more to that. There's name. a brewing company. It's, I think it's S-O-O. Sue something. It's S-O-O Brewing Company in Salt Ste Marie. No, Sue St. Marie. Sue St. Yeah. Well. Salt Ste Marie. <laughs> Salt Ste. I was like, <laughs> that, this word's weird. S T E dot. I don't know what yeah, that is. That Sue St. Marie. Saint is S T. And um, uh, Sue Not Saint. In French, yeah. Canadian, Sue, American no. words. And S O O is America. Sue like the railroad line. That's the northern line, the northern major well, line. That's East. spelled S O U I X or whatever. No, that's Sue like the Native Americans. Sue the railroad Sioux line City? is S O O. Oh, it is. Yeah. Hmm. Didn't know that. Because it went through my hometown. All right. Well, in uh, Sioux St. Marie, Michigan, yep. at Sioux Brewing Company, two, two gentlemen about our age walked in. It was closed, 4.30 in the afternoon. I believe it was the afternoon. I looked for AM, PM, couldn't find it in the article. Oh, I may have seen this headline. but They walked in, I'm and excited. the doors were open. So part, part of it, the, so the walking in part is the fault of the brewer. That part, now that's where his, where his faultness yeah. ends. The rest of this is all on fucked them. up. The they walked in, found out that the taps you could you could um, get beer out of the taps, and they started to. They drank a few beers. Then they called their family and kids. Oh. Had their family come in, got their kids craft soda, and their family was drinking beers. In all, they only had nine beers, but uh, they also t- took some soda. 
And uh, guy, I hope this ends good. No, that they don't know who they are. They have some pictures oh. of them, and that's it. There's no good ending. It's, they didn't uh, leave the, like a hundred bucks brewer, or something like that. Not at all. The brewer doesn't that's... care about the lost profits. He's just like, this is fucked up. You came in my brewery, and you drank my beer. Yeah, yeah. it's you like one lock your doors. doors. Yeah, lock your doors. That's the don't, first part. You know, because like, that's like the awful house. You can story, be a right? little mad. Where the guy walked in, it wasn't it wasn't locked, and then just started cooking food. Uh, yeah, a I couple think, years ago, three yeah, years ago. Yeah. Yeah, one guy. The Waffle House was closed. Yeah, it. No one was there. Oh, so okay. like, but they yeah. have video of him like just cooking, just, just cooking went back there and started. Do you leave money? Getting at it because that'd be cool. Yeah, I thought he did. Yeah. I thought that was like the yeah, and he just fine. left, just wash the dishes leave. or something. Yeah. That's why I was hoping you were going to come around. And I say, wish. And no. they left. This guy bucks. wasn't. I guess he wasn't mad until he saw that they brought more people. Because it's like kind of his fault. That yeah, he left the doors open. I mean, but once you call nothing was destroyed or anything like that. Just they, so they respected Apparently the not. place. Just a couple yeah. of dirty glasses, I guess. Yeah, I don't but, know. Weird story. Me, I'm wondering if they left the lights because if the lights are off and it's obvious that it's they closed. were off. He said it was obvious. the the brew The brewmaster said it was. It would have been obvious walking in. That's like the same person that walks around like um, telephones, like pay phones. The, the pay phones were this thing that you used to drop in thirty five cents mm-hmm. or twenty five cents, and though, but you know where I'm going with this, or like in arcades and people fingering the holes, oh, yeah, yeah, like for loose change. That's like these guys just walking around getting doors. That'd be messed up. Just opening all the door, trying to open all the doors. That'd be weird. Man, yeah. who does that? I wonder if they were already drunk, like if maybe. they were not of sound mind prior yeah, to maybe. this. Like, yeah. like maybe they were bar hopping and yeah. and they're like, "Hey, yeah, check this out. This brewery. place is open, but yeah. it's not open. But it's not. Yeah, let's make a bad decision." <sighs> yeah, that I would, would have been worse if the kids were drinking. Yeah, that yeah. would have been way worse. Yeah. Then they got into a bar fight. Yeah, uh, but nope. They just. I, then, I guess when the guy showed up, because the landlord for the. For the building, saw them, and told the brewer. All so right. he showed up, and when he showed up, they ran. So they knew they were in the wrong. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. So they were guilty. They were guilty. Oh, they so that's ran. all my beer news. Um, I just have one piece of uh, uh selfish. Th- I'm on a new pad, guys. Ooh, new pad. Wow. So brand new pad. Um, so that's how long we've been at this. That's a milestone, that's, honestly. Yep. So brand new pad. That's new a nice pad. one. Prism. It's uh, weird. It doesn't. I, yeah. It's something to get used to because it doesn't have the banner that I'm used to. But uh, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm coping. I'm Gotta coping. have the banner. So that's that's what I have. But I come bearing gifts. Actually, this beer is from Chuglo Stev, <laughs> so he can be the uh, oh, thanks, s- sponsor for right. half the segment. I like that when people want to sponsor the uh, can art segment that they bring good cans. Oh well, the, the, it was pe- people are. Fairly intentional with that. Yeah, that's most, what I mean. Most part. I'm glad or they are. Or conversation driven, not like no one so far um, has purposely Ooh, gotten us a trash that. beer. Like they, they knew it was a trash. Oh, beer. yeah. Just but, to, but we would totally do that. There has been trash beer that we, we've been gifted. Yeah. But not, inte- not, not intentionally, no. I don't. I think for a while there, I thought maybe I would seek out trash beer just so we could. And not really trash beer, but when we were doing the beer of the people, mm-hmm. I, you know, I, we got some old ancient lagers and things yeah. like that that. Some people may consider trash beer, um, but I wanted to review some of those. I don't want to review a lot of those. Yeah. Yeah. Not not a lot. Not a lot. I'd but, like uh, to... oh, I'm sorry. No, no, no. Off. That was it. So, Chuggalo Stev and I exchanged beer a couple of weeks ago, and I said, next time I'm around, otherwise, uh, it wasn't going to be the plan. He was going to go back to the queue, but I did promise him that he was going to be the next one next time I came around. But this is uh, Against the Grain, Jorge... Uh, Castana, it's a brown ale with chestnuts aged in bourbon barrels, so a lot potentially going on. Uh, comes in a pint, and it uh, comes in at a whopper at 10%. Yeah. Okay, three, two, one. Oh, man, I'm so glad I didn't have that early. It's close, though. Yeah. It's a tricky. He got under there, and I was like, shit, I'm good. Yep, it's a it's tricky open. maneuver. So a little bit about Against the Grain. What episode did we do Against the Grain? I feel like it was early on. I remember... Man, we've talked about that a few times. Uh, macaroni. I'm going to say... 80. I'm going to say... Earlier than that. Or maybe I'm thinking of Beer Club. I, I want, I'm going to say 25. We've never done them on the pod. What? But the Beer wow, Club. I wish, I wish we could export that. What? Four or five times at least on yeah. the Beer Club. 
Wow. When I saw I, when you broke up I was against shocked. the grain, I was like, oh cool. We're I did I did my against the grain again. Yeah, mm-hmm. I did my research. Okay. I spread unless I spelt it wrong on the spreadsheet, I scrolled the spreadsheet. We've done it a lot of the time in the mm-hmm. beer club though, right? Because we yeah. know against the I grain. I brought the yeah. the poopy pants one. Remember that? I thought we did that on the podcast, honestly. Yeah, I that was for the beer club. I remember that. It was it was a stout brown down or brown, whatever. Yeah, whatever it was. Yeah, brown. And there's, there's so much there because you purposely brought that. So it's yeah. going to be a very rich uh, Chuggalos year in luck. It's probably going to be a very rich, I assume, uh, Can Art Boner segment. But So a little bit about Against the Grain because I was like, oh, I can just reference episode 25 because I was like, it was somewhere early yeah. on. So you can find out more about them at atgbrewery.com. They're out of Louisville, Kentucky. So it was ironic Kentucky. that uh, JT was uh, talking about Kentucky news. It's awesome. It was like we... Planned it. Uh, that is not the case. They're a smokehouse brewery, so they're known equal parts both for their meats, um, which doesn't help us for what's growing there um, in Kentucky, just uh, shit to feed the cattle, I'm guessing. And the nice thing, uh, it's you go to their website, it's four dudes that started it up. It looks like four dudes that we would want to drink with. Yeah. There's a lot of... I su- Is this not a self-portrait of uh, one of them? <laughs> Um, no, because they all have hair. Oh. Like the one guy's got a real lot. The one guy was wearing a tool shirt and his, so I can get down with that, uh, individual. But, um, I thought I had a tool patch on there. Maybe, maybe it fell off. But, uh, anyways, so I wrote down four dudes you'd like to drink with and characters. And they just look around the Louisville bar scene. A lot of how these uh, places start up and they're like, there's a gap in like a quality product yeah. being put out. So, again, so Chuggalo Stev submitted Against the Grains, Jorge Castana Brown Ale with chestnuts aged in bourbon barrels, 10%. It's quite the whopper. So mm-hmm. 10%. Yeah, 10%. This, is a, this, is a, this is a heavy stick right off the bat. This is a heavy stick. <clears throat> I'm going to sneeze at some point here. Oh, my God. <laughs> I feel like if I, I feel like I apologize. I feel like if I talked more, like I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go into the can, and yeah. that, that is not my forte. No, no, no. I'll take care of that. Excellent. Um, I don't know if you want to go first. Or you want me to go first? You can. It, are you ready? Yeah, I am ready. Okay. All right. I would like to drink this more before I give a score. Okie dokie. Here's the can for all of the watchers. Um, for those who are listening, just uh, if you Google, like I did, Jorge Castana, um, it's the only thing that comes up, because I was looking to see if this guy exists, and it's just the beer. So, uh, this is the Can Art Boner segment brought to you by Stev. Thanks, Stev. You did it. <laughs> Once again. <laughs> Do you know, uh, in Stev News, he's brewing beer now. I saw that. I saw so that on Facebook. He him, him and I beer. have been talking about it. He wants us to do it on the side. I said, you better... You don't wild Ohio us with that. Oh, God. Don't wild Ohio it and don't Ohio style it. Yeah. That's trademarked. That is trademarked. That's going down. Although, if you do it, put our name on it and we'll make them money. Or you're getting sued. Yep. Because, <laughs> uh, Jason, you're actually, Stev, if you did that, your boss is going to fire your ass. So uh, we're in a uh, binding contract. Yes. Lifetime. All right. So this can art is interesting. I originally thought it said Jorge Costanza. Like it was George Costanza from Seinfeld, which is a show I don't particularly enjoy. Can we talk about that for a second? Because yeah. that's what I thought it was. Yeah. I, and on the back it says a beer about nothing. I oh, truly, that makes sense. I so truly it believe is it probably is George Costanza. George Costanza. Okay. Maybe they forgot the S or something at the. I believe they didn't want to get in oh, trouble. Maybe. Yeah. With with. But he also has a beard. His rights. And he doesn't look like George Costanza, other than the hair. He's a balding fat man with glasses. So I'm not sure what the. I, I maybe there's context here that I'm unaware of. I'm, I'm with you. I'm not a fan of the show. I don't really care for Seinfeld, but and that's probably gonna we're probably gonna lose listeners because there's some very aggressive fans of Seinfeld. Chuggalo mom. People no no she didn't care about Seinfeld. Okay. People who people I mean you know let's see I don't know if he's a Chuggalo but this guy Jim he's a Yankee fan a Raiders fan and like who knows probably every other. Good team, you know, he's one of those guys. Oh, America's team? Cowboys team? Yeah, too. whatever, yeah, probably. Likes Ohio State, whatever. Um, it's my deck press gun. Yeah. Uh, of his foot. Well done. Um, Terrible. But he loves Seinfeld, thinks it's the greatest thing that's ever existed, and he's very aggressive about it. And that's okay. Um, 
But there's more to life than TV. And Seinfeld's just a there's TV show. Definitely more than Seinfeld. I, yeah, definitely. It's lost on me. Um, but this is a beer about nothing, so it is probably Seinfeld. So when you set it down, and this goes into the can, I thought that these were pinstripes. I thought we were about to have a baseball-themed beer, much like Paul Blart Kills. Or ballpark, <laughs> ballpark uh, pills. George Costanza, Costanza worked for the Yankees. Yeah, yep. I do know that much. I do know a little bit about Sam. I've seen a few episodes. I know he worked for the Yankees. There was a one where he was trying to teach Derek Jeter how to hit. You know, he's crushing homers, smashing dingers, or whatever they say. Smashing dingers. Um, this is a brown ale with chestnuts aged in bourbon barrel. Well, I'll get to that flavor stuff later. Um, there's a lot going on in this can. So George Costanza, or Jorge Castana, he is a tatted uh, man with a large beard. Or it's either he has a large beard or he has a 5 o'clock shadow that extends down his neck into his chesticles. I think that's what it is. All the way to his underwear. This is like, yeah. this is sort of like me looking into the future, I feel like. Maybe, because this guy, yeah, he's, there's some similarities here. I'm not sure why he's only got one hand, but I, I mean, I'm going to work my way through this can. It's going to take a little I'm confident. bit. Hopefully you could, it won't you could be. never, you could never get to that shape, dude. I'm confident that I'm. Yeah, you, you couldn't get he's to that shape. He's roly poly. Yeah, yeah. Well, I could get to that shape, and you're I, smelt. I could lose a yeah. hand. There's at any time. That probably is more believable than you'll be in the shape this guy's in. Well, just saying. I think you just naturally won't get there. <clears throat> so, uh, all right. God, I wish maybe there's got to be someone out there who gets the Seinfeld references. So he's on imports and exports uh, is a uh, Seinfeld reference. Um, is it? What What was one jobs? Um, oh, there's a fake company. I'd have to go to one my uh, one friend. So uh, he's got Facebook, the Yankees logo. My one Facebook friend's Facebook profile because she says that she works in imports and exports for whatever company and was a Seinfeld oh, okay. reference. Okay. Okay. I don't think all the tattoos are Seinfeld related. A lot of them might be, but some of them might not be. One's Lou, Kentucky. Yeah, Louisville. Um, so he's on, what are those um, beds called that chase. are? A chase, yes. Chase Lounge. He's on a chase lounge. Uh, mm-hmm. It's red, and he's got he's got a hand on it, but the hand is separate from his body. His his uh, wrist is a nub. Um, if that, I don't know if that's politically correct when you talk about amputees, but... Uh, it looks like the end of a sausage. It, it looks yeah. like a sausage. It looks like a sausage. It makes it me does. want... Um, the Chase Lounge has some sort of like headboard, maybe, or there's a pole at the end that has some Christmas lights on it. Um, and and George yeah. Castana, or Jorge Castana, is tatted. That might be the Festivus tat- pole. Festivus. Oh, the Festivus pole. So nice. the tattoos include imports and exports. That's one. He's got flames on his left wrist. He's got a dagger with ouch X on his right wrist. He's got melt, bone, uh, swirly... Another bow, New York Yankee symbol, Coco Zero Zero, uh, Heart Lou K Y, uh, a snake and uh, five tally marks, a lightning uh, whale, uh, a skull and crossbones, uh, candy corn on his legs. He's got I don't even know. Like look, they look like eyes. Can I talk to you for a second? You arrows. Brought, you, you brought something up. Hold on one second. Let me just Country. get through this. Uh, <laughs> regretful tattoo on his leg. Two hams. On his thigh, and uh, a target with arrows and a star on his calf. I'm excited and for he's wearing white Thanksgiving ham. tube socks. Go ahead. Um, since it's that time of year, uh, Chuggalos and Mole People, we're in late October, uh, and we're coming up. I just want uh, yes or no on if you're a fan of the next thing I'm going to say. Just yes or no. Candy corn. Yes. No. no. Okay, good. No, it's terrible. Anyways, continue. <clears throat> All right. So the art and design was by Robbie Davis at RobbieDavis.com. Big Rob. Thanks, Robbie. We like to shout out the artist. You did a good job, uh, though I'm not familiar with the references. And then the rest of the can has some patterns around it. Um, And then there's the... I've never seen this before. Under the recycling symbol, it says pant. Two pant. What does that mean? Uh, I have no idea. Pant 1KR and then a... Uh, two arrows that you know make a circle. A circle. Oh, that's pr- that's European. Two pant. It's European. It's They're European. probably dis- is just that some uh, sort of recycling s- thing. So this is something that you need to know. I'm glad you brought this up. Uh, against the grain is in 46 states and 26 countries. Oh yep. shit! So so, so they're just sending this out. It's an everywhere. international uh, recycling <sighs> thing. Okay. 
All right, two pant. So if you if you have the pant uh, system of recycling, two pant. Okay. Two pant that Keep shit. Keep that in mind. That's the Can Art Butter segment brought to you by Steph. I Thanks, love it. Steph. If you have the pant system of recycling, that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> two pant. It's two pant. Um, so you're also your rap name, two pant. Two pant. Yeah, that is what they call me. Two pant or not to pant. That is the question. Oh. <laughs> Um, so this is a brown ale with chestnuts aged in bourbon barrels. Now, the way that they phrase that is different from the way that they phrase it on the website. Let me just make sure it doesn't say that. So on the website, it says that the chestnuts are bourbon, are uh, bourbon barrel aged as well. I'm not sure how that works. But on the website, it says bourbon barrel aged chestnuts. And then ale, blah, 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 whatever. Oh, okay. I see what you're saying. Okay. Like, I think they put the chestnuts in with the beer. But I don't know. On the can, it says brown ale with chestnuts aged in bourbon barrels. Yeah, that makes sense. So they put the beer and the chestnuts in the bourbon barrels. That seems like a pretty cool thing. However, they put so much alcohol in this beer that it, um, man, I think it really takes away some of the, some of what could be good. Now, I don't know if the, this is a beer about <clears throat> nothing um is just a joke or if it's a hundred percent their mindset on this one i feel like the website was really nonchalant about it they were like this is a beer about nothing you won't get anything from this beer but you'll get everything from this beer um i think it's a play on seinfeld yeah it's a play on shot yeah i get it's a play on seinfeld but i don't know if whether their actual motivations are like if they have you know high ambition for this beer or what but a lot of those okay they Talk about dark and roasty uh, flavors and uh, the chestnuts. I just don't get a lot of it because the alcohol is so high in this beer. I get the darkness. I'm not sure about the <laughs> I roastiness. I taste dark. I taste dark. It's yeah. not yellow Very swill. goth. Very goth. Like It is um, a thicker, syrupy beer. It's It's got a lot of aftertaste. Like... Tons of aftertaste. Almost like I just... Have you guys ever had those um, co those coffee beans covered in chocolate? Yeah. That you can chew on and eat? That mm -hmm. They're not weird coffee beans? That's what this tastes like almost. I got the aftertaste. Very rich. Very... Um, robust. Bitter. Robust. Yeah. It's a very like, powerful taste on the aftertaste. Uh, the foretaste is all alcohol. Just liquor. It's all liquor. It's not a bad beer, though. <clears throat> I wish I understood the uh, references more. Um, man. I, this, said, I said I was ready, but I, the score, I'm having trouble. Because okay. the aftertaste actually is pretty good. I can talk for a little bit. It's like, really good. Actually, the aftertaste, well, the, but I just don't like the actual taste. Mm. It's too liquory. The actual taste. But I'm still in the threes somewhere. Let's go with <laughs> three, five. Three, five. Three, five. That's okay. my score on Jorge Castana. Jorge Castana. Love the can art. Wish yeah. I understood it. It's super boozed up. You're right. They don't yeah. make any attempt whatsoever to try to like kind of layer that in there or weave it in there yeah. to where you're like, oh, I, I don't really get 10%. You get, this doesn't taste, it, it drinks like 20%. Yeah, it does. It, it drinks, drinks like a heavier beer. Yeah, this drinks like just alcohol. Uh, the aftertaste is is a lot better. To me, this this reminds me of music that you're not familiar with, but then after you listen to it for a little bit, you kind of get it. If yeah, that makes sense. Oh, yeah, like the Moby. first the first couple sips, you're like, "Wow, this is not for me. <laughs> this is not for me." But then after a few more sips, you're like, "Oh, okay. Well, I don't know." And then you kind of listen to the whole record, and you're uh -huh. like, "All right, I got it. I can get it." You, you're not you're not like all of a sudden a super fan of it, but that's a really good way to. You can at least appreciate Let's it. Talk right? about the spear, yeah. So that's the way yeah, I view yeah. this spear. Hmm. Um, Very good. Everything you said rings true. I, I don't really have much more to offer. I also I, I had it scored at a three point five. Um, it's not my. It would not be my go to beer. It's just it's just so boozed up, man. If that aftertaste mm. didn't linger hard, then it would be lo much lower. Yeah, in my opinion. Yeah, I mean. So let's see. So a brown ale, not not very high on my list of go-to beers. Um, aged in bourbon barrels, equally 
you know, I'm not the bourbon barrel right. guy. Yeah. You know, I've, I've, if, if you guys have listened to the podcast, then you know that I'm not seeking that out. I don't know if you know this, but if it wasn't for breweries, there would be an overabundance of, of bourbon barrels in this country. And they would just be, we would just have bourbon barrels everywhere in the streets. Everywhere. Oh, I, you know, like roving cars, get, I, yeah. like in everywhere. I would use bourbon them at, barrels. I would use them at the end of my day. And on the street. So and we'd be like, the pollution yeah. in this country is getting out of control with the bourbon barrels. I love, but the beer companies are taking care of. I love the look of bourbon barrels. And if it wasn't, for, like you said, for breweries, I would buy them and put them on my down spouts. Cause how I'd many, just, huh? How many? I'd have a few, all of them, all, all down spouts. I mean, you're thinking like, okay, so you know, Evan Williams and and um, oh, how many bourbon barrels like are there? I, no, I'm oh. saying how many would you buy? I'm I'm saying a but few. Then separately, love, I'm saying you know, all these all these bourbon makers are making just like a gajillion fucking barrels of bourbon, and there's just barrels I'm, everywhere. There's no way they'll sell out. I, I I love without the breweries. I love the look of making them into seats. I yeah, love they'd the be awesome. I would love to have the, some bourbon nipping barrels. up the top top and putting. Them, oh. <clears throat> I'm gonna build my next house because I am gonna get another house after this one. Yeah. Um, out of bourbon barrels. <laughs> Good. It's, it's gonna, gonna be, be a, like a log cabin, but a bourbon barrel cabin. Mm-hmm. It's gonna smell like real strong. It is gonna smell real yeah, strong. Real strong. I'm just gonna Very lick the walls. Yeah. Matt's coming over to lick the walls. I'll tell Katie. Hey, Katie. Matt's pet, coming pet over. Walls. Not yeah. the staves, but the walls. <clears throat> get the walls ready. Matt's coming over. Mm-hmm. Pet the walls. I'll, I'll come over. All right. Thanks. I don't want to lick your walls. I hope you do. I don't want to I lick hope your walls. You do. You make sure you really enunci- enunciate that. I don't want to lick your walls. I don't want to lick your walls. What's the alternative? Balls. The, oh, balls. Yeah. Balls. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. Balls. That's not a hard. It's man. not. It's not. Um. <laughs> it's not an insult to lick someone's per- balls. No. To no. profess that you want to lick them, that doesn't mean that the the person who that comment was. Um, I just directed that has to accept. I just want him you know, to enunciate, is still enunciate it part better. of the, the, the game here. Because there could be some shenanigans where it's going to be Cobra's voice and it'd be like, I want to lick your balls. Yeah, I'm going to edit it. Well, I mean, uh, I'm yeah. 100% <laughs> please, editing this podcast please. Yeah, to please. make him say he wants to lick my balls. But I'm not consenting. Well, that, I mean, you know, TBD. And Chris respects that. To be determined. <laughs> <laughs> TBD. Well, all right. We can sort that out. We'll sort it day. out. Um, on our next Bobo. <laughs> we, there's still one in the can. We still oh, yeah, got, I know. We still I, got one to fire off. There. I don't know what to do with well, it. Well, like, invest it. Let's invest it. That would point. be a great idea. We can make some money. <laughs> of course, the market's high right now. Super hot. Uh, that's that, awesome. That's it. That's that's all I got. You know, it's. Thank you, Steve, for submitting uh, a 10 percent beer Appreciate <laughs> yeah i think that was intentional i think that was the intention of the can i don't the 10 he's not we sat there talking i know he's that, not malicious like but well, anyways, it's all about, about the this can art well this is in his wheelhouse though oh yeah right well he's he not gonna give us else. a sour every against the grain beer has can art like this i want to know what steve thinks about this beer he gave us all all of them he gave us he, notes he, on him? He, he bought... No, 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 no. I would, this should I would have been in a four-pack. It was. I have the four-pack. Oh, oh, when oh I, come on. Well, next time, when I ex- break it off and give it to him. When I exchanged with him, because then I gave him a bunch of beer. Oh, okay. Well, that's good. The Which old, he hasn't told me. He's had one. The old Monroeville exchange. Yeah. Look that up. All right. Is it... Do I need to have my safe search on? There's an ex- it? exchange near my, my old house in Illinois, too. It was in Indiana. So, uh, quick and dirty with this. Brown note. Was it the brown note? Brown note, note. yeah. It brown was brown note, note and it, the picture dirty, was a dirty. fat man with really stained underwear. Yeah, so it's really Lady tough. Tidies. It's really tough to not call this beer the George Costanza. I, I know why. Like you said, they would get sued into oblivion because Jerry Seinfeld <laughs> needs uh, more Porsches. I think he's a Porsche guy. It's either Porsche or Ferrari. It's a Porsche. He Porsche. drinks coffee. It's a Porsche guy. Uh, he's, the, he's the guy in his New York apartment who has three Porsches. So elevator it up. But anyways, fine, whatever. Jerry you, Seinfeld. You've done so fantastic things. Um, so this is a Kentucky beer through and through. It is massive. It's not hiding anything. It is boozy, and uh, I had to look up. That's why I was doing research. The two things, because I thought that maybe it was uh, inspiration on the back end, but that's Tennessee, not here. Is it's big and rich. There's big and big, rich. It's rich. It permeates and it sticks with These you. Bizarre. 
Off the country top, musicians. Off the top rope, and I'm not a country music fan. <clears throat> off the top rope, I give this a four two five. This is great, wow. but it's a one off. Like I. Oh, not, it's a one off. I could not have the other one. Glad I didn't realize this was a ten percent. I didn't do the research that on that. I did the research on the uh, the brewery. What do you think it. about the ten percent? How does the booze hit you? It's big. Yeah. It's a Kentucky beer, and it's big. It's and rich, obvious. So just. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm. I. I like it for what it is. I'm, you know, not trying to hide the booze or anything like that. It's a Kentucky beer. Like I, bunch of bourbons. I'm a big bourbon drinker. It's not trying to hide. It's not. Mm. There's no like you said. It drinks double what it is. Uh, mm-hmm. That's you know that's honestly a, a really good way to kind of sum it up. Mm-hmm. The fact that it's a you know Kentucky's obviously famous for bourbon. Yep. Technically, bourbon can only come from Kentucky. So it's boozed up and. That's that's a great way to sum it up. Yeah. If you want the bourbon without the bite, this is a way to get it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, it's definitely a sweeter. You're not going to get a, a bourbon that's four times the alcohol content of that and have it that sweet. Roger that. All right. All right. Who's your pick? Hit it. World Series Hit me with is, it. Is, has been established. Oh, yeah. It's Ray's Dodgers. Yeah, Ray's Dodgers. Who you got? I got Rays. Me too. What do you got, Matt? Um, scenarios. Who do I want to win or who do I think is going to win? Well, I said, so. yeah, obviously smart money's on the Dodgers. Yep. My heart is on the Rays. Who you got? So I, I have a lot of thoughts on this. I think MLB right now is shitting their pants that they didn't get I don't think so. anywhere. Cl- oh, yeah, no. The the ratings are already down. They They're wanted, down? They wanted a... Oh yeah, like God, you how look could at, you not want to watch what what's you happening. You look at the right NBA finals; so it was the all worst. All sports, all sports across the board are down. Oh, yeah. are they? NBA finals was down like sixty percent. Like, oh, every, I mean, everyone's and everyone's wondering why because it's like, hey, everyone's at home. Why are they not tuning in? Yeah, it's yeah. it's very. That's a good point. The whole sport. There was sports. two game sevens in baseball right which which led to excitement and you know you had not since the 2004 <laughs> red sox did a team come back from 3-0 they didn't they didn't finish uh we're on record fuck the astros so i think the mm-hmm. story would have been a lot better given the individuals that were in the championship series i think major league baseball would have sold the narrative you know with joe kelly and everything like that and the dodgers and the astros uh, obviously, the sure. MLB wanted both their big markets. They wanted the Yankees and they wanted the Dodgers. Yeah, it just it, it writes itself. But that's not how it works. But Gotta win. so so, anyways, the 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 Tampa Bay Rays get thirty five hundred in a non COVID year, thirty five hundred people to come to their game. Mm-hmm. Like they're a terrible baseball town. Yeah. Earlier, Terrible before pre, pre-COVID, you were talking about splitting them 41 games in Montreal and 40 games yeah. in Tampa Bay. That's a good idea. You're, you're not going to get massive ratings. From, I, I want to ask yeah, yeah, a question. Yeah, no, come I want to jump in. A lot of teams, or baseball in general, has a lot of spring training that occurs in southern Florida. Is that yeah. Florida, right Florida and Arizona? Half, half the team. Florida and Arizona. Cactus and grapefruit. Right. So why does Tampa Bay raise – why do they – if if there, if baseball is so big down there in, during spring training, why does that not translate to higher attendance for Tampa Bay? Different part of the state. I've heard a few oh, reasons okay. why Tampa doesn't draw the fans <clears throat> live. Is is their stadiums, Dome. both football and baseball, are hard to get to. That one's a pirate ship. That's One is difficult. a pirate ship. It's hard to get to a pirate ship. Okay, so Raymond James is an open air stadium, so at least you can enjoy the weather. When you go to Trap, well, Trap Houston, well, but humidity. the other one, it's, it's just a lot of humidity. There's a catwalk in play because it's in a goddamn dome in Florida. Mm. You know, you go to Florida partially because of the weather, right? And then you're yes. going inside for a game. I I guess. I mean, <clears throat> my opinion, it, it, it's Florida's a transient. Really hot. They it's a really transient fucked population. up. It's hum- it's they so fucked humid. up. By adding Tampa and Phoenix to the ex, uh, expansion. Yep. Um, in the, I was 98? 98 or 96, one of the two. Um, T- they Tampa's, should have kept wait, Montreal it? and they should have added uh, Portland and probably one other city. Now, Tampa's 
partially owned or majority owned by Derek Jeter? No, that's, that's Miami. the Marlins. Oh, yeah. the Marlins. And he's a minority owner. Yeah. Never mind. Okay. But he controls a lot. Well, he has a lot of say. He has, he has a lot, lot of, of clout, but he didn't have the money coming back. But he has a lot of power, not a big percentage. It's like how Michael Jordan started out when he bought into the Bobcats at the yeah. time. Yeah. I think that's a, really like a disparity, and I'd have to do the research, uh, between like nice weather places like Florida mm-hmm. and places like Chicago. Chicago gets a big crowd, but people consider baseball a summer event. They go... To enjoy the weather. The weather. In in Florida. And it's an event. You can enjoy the weather year all round. year round. Yeah. And going to a baseball game doesn't change that. During so, when you go to a baseball game in the summer in Florida, it's it's honestly not enjoyable. It's, it's probably it's, hot. If you're hot. going if you're going outdoors, I'm sorry. No, 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 no. It's, I'm not trying to rush you because this is great talk. No, it, I'm, I'm just saying Because I have a lot to say about it. You know, eight months out of the year, you're just I mean it, it's difficult to see out of your window because it's covered in humidity. Yeah, it, it's just condensation because there's so much humidity. It's just it's brutal. Yeah. So I understand why they play in a indoors. I would, I think honestly that's smart. I, if I, I lived in Florida for a long time. I did not enjoy the humidity. I did not enjoy the the environment. I don't ever want to live in Florida mm-hmm. again. If I went to a sporting event in Florida, it would I would prefer for it to be a hockey game. Yeah. So it could be indoors and I could enjoy air conditioning because I fucking hate. Humidity and ironically, yeah. the Makes lightning sense. just won the cup. Yeah, so somebody in this yes. in the World Series will bring their city a second championship, right? Because in a, a, in a recent championship, very recent. Yeah. So, uh, so I agree with you. Humidity yeah. sucks. Humidity is terrible. Smart money is on the Dodgers. I would love to see the Tamp. I, I would love to see the the Rays. Take it in like five games. Yeah. Just, just I, you know, you're like, oh, cheering. I'm Check not, I'm can. not watching. I'm not watching baseball right now. I'm uh, enjoying the highlights. Uh, I think the narrative would have been a lot better had Houston made it. Um, I think Major League Baseball is extremely disappointed. Because I kind of wanted to see Houston win the World Series. Oh goodness. They're because <laughs> no. they're such assholes and everyone hates them. And everyone people are still them. denying. People came out. I think it would it would be better I, if you Darvish was still on the Dodgers than Dodgers Houston. I did see that there was one guy that like stood outside of the stadium with a bullhorn yeah. and was sh- publicly shaming the Astros one by one <laughs> and they could hear it in the stadium. No way. Yeah. Yeah, Good. he stood Good outside of the bullhorn Good. and he said like what's that guy? Jose Altuve. Altuve. You are a Altuve. Yeah. You are a cheater. You cheated in your World Series run. And then he went on to the next name. <laughs> no and he way. Did that the whole time. That and they is heard awesome. it. They what heard it great. inside the stadium. What a, well, it's like San Diego where they have the high rises. You know. Yeah. Who who was it that oh, the Astros just lost Park to? is amazing. The Rays. The Rays. Yeah. It, yeah, it was a guy outside of the Rays. Well, somewhere. Yeah. He was. I can. Because in San Diego they I have high rises I, that that's look awesome. over. Yeah. Um, so, what's, you know, did you play Major League Baseball? No. What's the one rule that's posted? In major league locker rooms, to not do the one rule. There's one rule: no condoms, and you don't violate. That's them. right. No that's condoms. A, that's a, that's a yeah, yeah. I'm going with no condoms. I don't know. No betting on baseball. Oh, no period, betting. Period. Dot. That's bullshit. So you know what? Let number Pete two Rose is going to be no Rose banging in. trash cans. Yeah, no banging trash cans. Let Pete Rose in. I'm on the Pete Rose camp. He's good for baseball. I'm I'm a hundred percent. And his signature isn't worth shit because he signs everything. Yeah, that's true. Um, but the Astros but, sullied man. a game that's steeped in tradition. The 2016 so postseason, it was Frank Thomas, Alex Rodriguez, and Pete Rose doing the, the, on the, the post Fox. game. Yeah. Oh, it was so, so fucking good. good. It was the best post game, baseball post game it was awesome. I've ever seen. And they paired well off. Let Pete other. Rose back in baseball. That's all. All right, let's do this beer. Yep. Yeah. Let's do this. What is this? Okay. So this is Oliphant Brewing out of Somerset, Wisconsin. Do you guys know where Somerset, Wisconsin is? Yeah, it's in the uh, mm-hmm. summer part. Yep, excellent. Yep. <laughs> summer part in Wisconsin. So this is Mr. Samurai Karate Guy. Tell me where it is. Uh, Somerset is where uh, Float Right Park is. It's where um, all of the... It's in the northwestern part of the state. Oh, it's, northwestern. Right, there we go. It, there we go. it literally like is directions. a yeah. thousand people. Right. It's very a thousand people. But when you go, but how much 
area a lot? No. So so hundred thousand miles. So so a little oh, bit a little miles? bit. This For came from thousand people. Th- this came from Chuck, land. This came from Chuck O'Ryan. So, so a little bit. Thing. So like when you do like the family values tour, Ozfest, it says Minneapolis. It's actually in Somerset, oh, which is thirty okay. minutes away. So this is like Ooh. a suburb of Minneapolis. No, oh, no, no, so, no. don't do that. Yeah, because that's Suburbs. like St. Hammond or Munster. I mean, the same thing's true for like a lot of Chicago venues. The venue is in Tinley Park, but that's a suburb this of is, Chicago. This is you got to cross it. Cross the state border and a lot of courts. It it's not. It's not built up the whole way. It's not built up the whole way. So like, I would say that suburbs all are the Kentucky limited towns around Stein. Cincinnati. They're still Cincinnati. So this is taking you forty minutes from Minneapolis to get there. Boom. But it's um, not that far. So anyways, uh, so Chuggle Orion sent me a lot of beer mail. Don't worry, I'm working my way through the stuff you sent to me and then the stuff for the pod. So this is Mr. Samurai Karate Guy, slice and dice. India Pale Ale. Mm-hmm. Oliphant. Mm-hmm. So I want to go to Oliphant. Um, we can crack this. Man, I gotta. Are you guys ready? No, I'm ready. Sorry. No, that's fine. I'll bite my nails. It hurts. It hurts. It All hurts. right, let's go. I'm, no, I'm just joking. Three, two, one. I'm a nail biter too. I'm that was to a good crack. Prove it to me. That's my a daughter. crack for the Hall of Fame right there. That was a good one. You got some good looking nails right now, honestly. So uh, because. Um, my four-year-old chews her nails, and I'm like, if Daddy can stop, you can stop. And I said, I'm going to paint my nails pink. And she said, no, Daddy's painting them purple. So anyways, you can find out more at Oliphant Brewing. And I'm going to spell that mm. out because it's an interesting word. O-L-I-P-H-A-N-T brewing.com. Again, Somerset, Wisconsin. Uh, the yeah. Chuggalos in Wisconsin all know this where This beer got caught masturbating on a Zoom. And there is not oh. a lot. There is not a lot of information on Oliphant. I, I have a lot of Oliphant bites. beer now in the fridge, but we are Oliphant. Let unreason rain. Let unreason rain. All right, one of my probably top, definitely top three shows ever is Deadwood. Timothy Oliphant. Oh yeah, that's that, my so one that's of my where favorite. Word. That's one of my Oliphant. favorite characters ever in TV history. He's he's good. Have you seen the Netflix show he's in? Uh, I, don't I know. saw the first like you saw the Deadwood episodes. movie. I haven't seen the movie. I have not watched the movie yet. I could. Oliphant is in. Yeah, I want. Well, it. he's in Justified. Yep. And he's also in the zombie thing. The with, crazies. Uh, Drew Barrymore. Yes, uh, Santa Clarita. Diet. Santa Clarita. Yeah. More more comedic. He's good. I like him. Him and period. Him and Deadwood. His character in Deadwood was just fucking. He, he's the one with Fergie, right? Yeah. yeah. No, that's uh no. That's, that's a different um, dude. Dumal. Oh, but they look similar, right? Yeah, they they're similar, they are 100% similar. similar, yeah. Fergie, she's all right. She peed her pants on meth. On meth on stage. I mean, who hasn't? But she was wearing leather pants, so right. you wouldn't see it. Something I just, just someone saw it because I heard something about it. I just learned today. Fergie wasn't originally in the Black Eyed Peas. They wanted some a little more eye That's candy. Correct. That's correct. Yeah, they needed someone with a, a larger cup size. You, you know what kicked that off? The Go Go's. That you know, remember the Go Go's? Uh, Belinda Carlisle was the lead uh, singer, and then who doesn't um, remember that? Yeah. So, anyways, I mean, anyways, th- then they went into. I didn't realize Me? that Fergie wasn't a, a founding member of the Black I'm okay Eyed with Fergie. People don't like her, but I'm all right with her. Yeah, I'm fine. Totally fine with Fergie. Yeah, Fergie's fine. We Ferg it up. I'm in the Fer- Fergie's fine party. Mm-hmm. I'm in the I'm in the Ferguson club. <laughs> my my needle's not moved. Just <clears throat> I mean, the needle's fine. It doesn't need to be like all the way over. No, it's. Eh. Just to be okay with somebody doesn't need to be yeah. like no no she I went I went I went turn her way if she wanted to eat some pizza rolls what make what moves your needle Matt Helen Hunt <laughs> no way no, no. <laughs> what we talked about this before yeah Helen Hunt's yeah. great but okay I, I mean, would take Helen on. Hunt over Fergie yeah I probably would too see but well what moves, what, what's moving shot? your needle like in an extreme fashion. Like if I'm just hanging out with her, like she'd be cool to like have pizza Jeez, rolls. Jeez, Matt, are we talking You're about like this hard, dude? Like boner, boner time, like <laughs> happy boner time. What? I'll what, commit to people. Yeah, well, like let's see. But give me a choice. Your needle, it moves a little bit here and there. <clears throat> yeah. What makes it go like all the way over? Amy Smart. God, I hate you, Matt. Hundred percent. You know who Amy There's, Smart is? Yeah, I know who Amy Smart well, is. There's no I way that's true. I love the girl next door. Attainable is sexy. The girl next door? That's not Amy Smart. No, I'm saying, but she is the girl next door. Ali- oh, oh Alicia I was talking about the Murph 
the movie. Alicia Cuthbert yeah. is real close there too. She's yeah, she she'll do all right. I think Josh Dumel is in that one. Is he? Oh, he's the he's the pimp, uh, right? Yeah, or yeah, the he's porno the, director. Yeah, the yeah. porno director. This was an interesting. Wow, I'm glad you cornered me on that. Ooh, Six degrees of so, Amy Smart mm-hmm. moves your needle. Yeah, she she's my freebie. I, we've talked about. Uh, we've, we don't. We, no, we talk my about wife this and I don't kid. do that. You want a freebie? Just get divorced. <laughs> you know? Well, you want to get you want to go fuck some celebrity? Fine. Well. Well, I'll then you move out. Some like crazy stuff. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. That's how you go to jail. You don't, you <laughs> yeah. don't actually get to fuck the celebrity <laughs> yeah. well, unless the you really about? succeed. What's the and then that's about? rape. I don't. I don't know. What they, you, okay, so in this scenario, yeah, in to this explain scenario, Amy Smart, who I, I has to come to my, okay, your, has to come thing, to my doorbell, ding dong, and and she says, "Let's fuck." Yep. Right. Well, have you seen Entourage? There's a girl who oh, I okay, who Vinny chases. Her her one her whatever freebie yeah. freebie, and she fucks him. Good for them. And that's I mean it doesn't. It's, a TV that's how it's not works. like he goes to her; she goes to him. It's real life. Yeah. No, I know. Yeah. I mean, so if you saw Amy Smart, you're not gonna go say, "Hey, want to hit it?" God no, because that because who's gonna tummies? Who, who's who's gonna jump on this? <laughs> I you know if Amy Smart came over and had some want to have some pizza rolls, I'd be fine with that too. I'd probably pass out like I did on him. Probably, yeah. yeah probably, because you wake up at like 3.30 in the morning. Right, well, it was a little earlier today, but, you, you know, Most hey, celebrities come, over, come, come over and watch Rambo. Most then, celebrities operate later in the day. Yeah. Matt can't make it that I, long. I, I there's no freebies. I, I, Let's be honest. Stacy knows because well, honestly, yeah, there's I, no freebies I'm a safe. There's no right, freebies right, here. Yeah. <laughs> there's no freebies here, but to tie together timelines, just real quick, and then we'll kill this conversation. Let's do it. Let's tie it together. But I want to tie together timelines. Yeah. I like Matt's timelines because he's waking up. With with that t- testosterone raging at three thirty, <laughs> yeah. while normal hot celebrities are probably coked out of their oh, yeah. head at three thirty. Oh yeah, they're going to bed. And they're well, I'm, they're not going to bed. Uh, they're, like, they're, they're, they're like they're raging. They're like yeah, they're I'm in clear minds. They're in the middle of their and they are not in clear minds. Oh yeah, and I think I think Matt's got it synced up time wise. I could lay I, down an easy. That's trip. a fair I argument. I could lay down an easy triple. Boom. All right, Amy Smart, if you're listening, it's rage been a long up. time. It's rage been a up. long time since I've said that. Three thirty comes around. <laughs> Look out for Matt. No, yeah. she's uh, married to a guy. Uh, if you're coked up at 3.30 H- in Dayton, HGTV. Matt's awake. God, everyone's yep. married to someone on HGTV. Oh, yeah. I just don't get it. Ship my, 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 wood, my, my, my pallets, bu- all that shit. My budget is uh, 1.2 yeah. million. What do you do for a living? I sharpen colored pencils and uh, <laughs> he shops at the uh, yeah. farmer's market. Yeah. Fucking it, Chris. We got all this wood, wood shiplap or fucking pallets from the store. We're this is the best. When we go off the rails make, like this, yeah, this is the best. We're gonna make your whole house into pallets. You now live in a pallet. I watched a YouTube video where uh, someone made a cabin out of pallets. It was, really it was it. bound to happen. Oh, I just watched one where they put cost it on less three, than fifty dollars. Three logs, yeah. All right, this is a can art bonus segment brought to you by Steve. Nope. Who Ryan. brought this one? Ryan. Ryan. Ryan, you're back. He was. He did it for a while, right? Yeah, like I've months. got a lot more random beers that we've got yeah. to do just from people. Uh, Ryan, thanks. Uh, let me uh, go show this off real quick. I hope that my references... JT's riding that 10% train hard <laughs> yeah. right now. I hope that my references uh, will be recognized. They, they all are. <clears throat> uh, so the N- Nintendo video game system. Nintendo Entertainment, Entertainment System. system. NES. 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 Right. I thought you'd like the name. That's why I picked this one over the other one. <clears throat> this can looks like an NES game. And specifically, <clears throat> this is going to be ridiculous because I've only played it one time. Someone came over to my house with a Raspberry Pi um, that had all the games on it. Mm-hmm. You guys know that. Oh, that's Raspberry Pi. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Not like a real Pi. The Raspberry Pi um, electronic unit had all the Nintendo games on it. And they were playing, for some fucked up reason, the Michael Jackson Nintendo game. Like, original Nintendo. Okay. But this game was awesome. Like, it was really good. Really well done. So I think you're talking about Moonwalker. Yeah. It was a really good game. And they were beating the shit out of it. And this can reminds me of that game. I'm not familiar with that game, so... If you're a Nintendo person, I'm not a. I don't play a lot of video games, but it's, uh, I, it's 
they're in our demo market. Nintendo yeah. people. Yeah, Nintendo so we're, people. We're, we're talking this, to them right this now. This shit. Well, I mean, the the guy in the middle with the swords, he reminds me of a Foot Clan from the Ninja Turtles. That's Ninja Gaiden, 100. percent Yeah. Keeping with your. <clears throat> yeah, Samurai Mister. He's got some Kira weird walrus guy, twists. Karate guy. <laughs> Kira, Kira Kira guy. Karate well, guy. Karate guy. Karate guy. Reading it as one word. All right. So now that yeah, karate is one word. Karate guy. Karate guy. <laughs> Like a Borat. Man, I really put myself <laughs> out there guy. and I just get Karate slammed. Guy. I just there get guys. slammed. Shake your Slice and dice. Um, it reminds me of the Michael Jackson game, but it also has a little bit of Ninja Turtles mixed in. And this guy, he's got a skull uh, face, but a brain head. Um, no skull protecting it. I'm not sure how that works. He'd probably die almost instantly. When someone even just like touches it, he's just gonna collapse. What if he knows Karate? Like he's just gonna fall straight to the ground and be brain dead instantly. If he knows Karate, is he safe? Yeah, if he knows Karate, he'll be all right. Oh, it's Kara. If he knows T guy. <laughs> if he knows Kara or T guy. T guy. <laughs> Two separate. T I the rapper. T guy. No, T guy. No, T guy is a Filipino. Mr. Uh, Samurai, third, third Mr. Samurai, Karate Guy. <laughs> no, so OCN. OCN. Right. Um, 6% alcohol. It, it, I like the can art. It's cool. Um, it's kind of got an old, like, you know, late 80s, early 90s feel to it. Um, especially with these characters. They're really weird. Weirdly put together. Like, what, what do you make of this guy? What, what's his body like? Is that magma? Or is that just black and red? For it's no like reason? a uh, late eighties, early nineties, like TV show. I'm gonna yeah, get you. Yeah, that's exactly kind of how, how I'm the, feeling. It. Oh, like Skeletor almost. Skeletor, Skeletor. Yeah. The the brain thing is he has is, no skin. It's, there's veins, dude. <clears throat> I like yeah. the lava magma. Like lava magma. Yeah, I kind of like that that whole feeling. That um, vibe. That vibe. All right. What ping? What what pings his? Like, um, um, do you guys watch Moana? Your kids are a little bit older. Uh, I never liked Moana. But, like, the, the lady at the end, you know, where I'm going yeah. with this lot. I understand. I have no idea what you're talking about. I understand. About. It's a bad delivery, but you know where I'm going. Yeah. yeah. The lady at the end, is she hot? Is that what you're talking no, she's about? The she's, she's, like she's, big lava, she's a big lava, lava fire monster yeah. that Moana beats. She, oh, okay. Then she becomes the life goddess or whatever. Oh, you know. okay. Yeah. Good for her. Um... And then there's there's it's a little well. um, thanks Steve for ten percent. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think of uh, in Steps what situation derailed this, ha- this happens. But you, sometimes there's like a little plastic coating over something, and you, you you well I would peel some of it off because I you just <clears throat> always have to have something going on with my hands. And there's like a little shaded part of this this can here. On both sides, as if like there was a, a cover, and it got ripped off. And that's it. That's the Can Art Boner segment brought to you by Sad. Ryan. <clears throat> also, well, also Mr. Samurai has cuts in it. I don't know if you guys noticed that. Yep. Pretty cool. Slice and Dice has cuts in it. There's some cuts in the works. What's the deal with Spud? Did I don't you know. get any any? Making progress at, with that. at first, I didn't spud. read the word spud because I thought, well, if I read that and I'm wrong, then <clears throat> maybe it's like something else. Matt's going to make fun of me. So I didn't say spud because it didn't make sense to me. Nah. You Slice gave me enough with Kara T guy. <laughs> Slice and dice spud. I, I'm not sure. Spud's usually reserved for potato-based um, things. You know, Indeed. This, this is a spud thing. So maybe there's potatoes in here. Who the fuck knows? Definitely Oliphant's in here. Um, there's a, lo- a lot of uh, Deadwood, some Justified, a little bit of Santa Clarita Diet. Uh, that's a good beer review. It tastes like, um, man, it's fucking thick as fuck. It's really, uh, it's really, man, it's strong. Not in the alcohol sense, but like in the hop <clears> sense. <throat> Do you know what hops are in it? Did did you say it? No, it's, it's, it's on the can though. So Citra and Centennial, but there's a lot of them. Many hops. There's many Citra, many Centennial. Multiple, numerous. Uh, I don't know that this beer is my thing. 
with the first sip I took, it punched me right in the face. It was super dank. Tuesday bruise day. Your Tuesday bruise day. Getting bruised up. That's that's my thing, guys. And it's it's happening. Tuesday bruise day. Man. I just don't think I drink a lot of these. It's not it's not a bad beer though. 3.0. Very um, hoppy. Super <clears throat> hoppy. Very you know that that bo dankness that comes with a lot of these beers. That mm-hmm. that's what this has. Um, love the can art. I'm just okay with the beer. I like the fact that per the can art, Mister Samurai has actual knife hands, which is a deep throwback. Oh shit! I didn't even notice that. Yep, man. Actual you knife have hands. Should done the can art. He does. He has sword hands. Sword hands. Knife hands works for where knife hands doing. works knife better. Hands. Where you were trying to do where it. I was trying to take this. I know, this. I know. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to derail you. Uh, sword, but yeah, samurai sword hands for the uh, mm-hmm. for the purists out there. I'm a purist on yeah, samurai. I know. I know you are. Definitely karate too. Karate. Yeah, like a purist. Like if I see that word, I'll never mispronounce it. I like the panel background too. That's a total mm-hmm. '80s thing. Yeah, I love it. This beer, for me, gets a 4.75. Wow. This is, an, this is a fucking... This is a home run. It's not a grand slam. The oh. only reason, the only thing that prevents it from being a home run is just there's something on the finish that doesn't quite sit right. It's mm. just kind of... It's too dank. It's not too dank. It just... There just needed to be one... It's like one note off. And it needs to be experimented with a little bit by Oliphant to punch this to a 5.0 this is right. a delicious beer i would drink all six of these hmm. in a sit down in a fucking minute i'd black out afterwards and i'd probably pee in a corner but, <laughs> but i would do it i would do it because this is a good fucking beer this is right. this is one of the best i've had in many many months honestly this is a fucking delicious beer i love it i it's it is the definition of the word juicy that i fucking hate hmm. but it is a juicy fucking beer it's got so much. It's got so much going on in the taste, um, just from those two hops, man. Citra and Centennial, great combination. Yeah. Classic <clears throat> IPA. I wonder what the spud is about, and then just in the naming, I'm just curious as to what that has to do with anything, because it seems like kind of tacked on at the end. Like, yeah, I get Mr. Samurai guy, I get Karate guy, I get Slice and Dice spud. I don't. <clears throat> That's kind of confusing. Yeah. Um, but beer itself, fucking home run. Not a grand slam, but an absolute home run. That's it. That's all, all I right, got. Fair this enough. is fucking good. So uh, I, uh, loyal Chuglos, we could build flashcards on the people that submit beer. So uh, Chuglo Ryan is a discount drinker. He's mm-hmm. out for a <clears throat> fantastic deal. Well, this the weekend that he went out, I'm super jealous because Chuggle Orion is the first one that will take his kids. Him and his wife are both teachers, um, They and they live the life to the supreme. Off the top rope, this is a 4.5. This is a delicious hmm. fucking beer. Um, it is big, unapologetic, and comes at a 6.0. It drinks bigger than a 6. I was shocked when yeah. because I didn't look. I was shocked that this came in at a 6.0. I would drink this next to a Truth. Which is like my go-to IPA. I would say this unequivocally is bigger than a truth, mm-hmm. and it's not. It's a truth is a seven-two, and this is a six-zero. Oh, this tastes it. It's got bigger pants than what it fills, but man, alive! It's it is fantastic. Uh, and again, the alpha acids. I love Citra. I love Mosaic. I love Centennial. It's just it's a home run. You know, it lets you know like I I got a little bit of dry action in my mouth right now. It's it's fantastic. Uh, uh, Ryan, bring this up to uh, Deer Camp. I know you've got a bunch of it uh, with the Blapples or whatever. This is a fantastic beer. This is something that you could uh, continue um, mailing me in your flat rate boxes. That's hilarious how he does it. It's great. He just puts it in a flat rate box with a bunch of uh, <laughs> shopping bags or whatever, and it all works out because they never know. But uh, Ryan, great job. Uh 
There's a couple of your one-offs or whatever that I graded this weekend. But this this is fantastic. I'm glad that this was one where there was multiple of it, so I could submit it on the podcast. But uh, fantastic. Yeah. Uh, Four point five. There's. It's it's hard to. It's I did to, yeah. Okay. I did not touch on the six six percent. That is a shock. Doesn't it, it drink bigger? Yeah. Like yeah. if this was like an eight five, you wouldn't be shocked. Yeah. You'd be like, okay, that makes sense. Six percent. That's crazy. It's. But it's not because it's like a, a, a boozy nope. It's just it's the super, fact that everything's so punched up. It's super assertive. It really is. Yeah, it's very punched up. I love it. And for being a small brewery, like you again, you go to their website at uh, olafantbrewing.com. There's no pictures of anyone. The the uh, about us is just a mission statement, which is like a limerick almost. They're a small, you know, they're in sweet. It's the opposite of, e. of Arche. Yeah, it's the opposite of Arche. I have a degree in yeah, chemistry. There's, yeah, yeah. <laughs> a I, have a, I have a bachelor's of arts in yeah. chemistry. Olafant, we, if you listen to this, I I need to get up there. I, I don't see how this fits into the force. I just don't get it. But it's that's, just that's the fun it's of the just podcast. So fucking, it's just I mean, it's so just magic. It just this is like it doesn't have. You, it if you if you poured it. this into a glass and gave it to me, and you gave me zero information about it. I would say that it's uh, a New England IPA from uh, hmm. from from the Northeast, from a small town brewer up there that just fucking hammered it perfectly. Yeah, you know that's what I would say. I right. would never guess six point oh. Yeah, I would say I would I say it's in the I, I would have been 12, 12, either, 12, but I don't hold that as like a no. But that's like in favor of the beer. That's awesome. Just, oh yeah. Just, it's just, I just it's I love too dank. F- it's not ju- not juicy to me. I love the citra. It's I, I love so flavorful. The can art's the best part of this beer. They didn't waste it. I don't see how it gets it over a four. Personally, there's I, I feel and like that's the, that's the I feel like I, the I can't even un- unpack all the flavor in one can. Like I need another can of beer to. He was smart. I didn't get four packs of these. I got three for the I got threes for the pod. Well, and I got a bunch of singletons. I do Two appreciate a smart man. from Ryan. Thank you, Ryan. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. I have. I love the fact that I get to do this podcast and drink this beer. Yeah. Yeah. Otherwise, this would be completely lost on me personally. So, very appreciative. I've got more coming from Ryan. Yes. Yes. So, I have to make sure they're planned right. out. Sweet. Well, that's the beer review. That's the beer review. We reviewed it. All the beer. I have a segment three, but I don't know if I want to do it today. That's fine. I, I would say one more beer, but I know schedules preclude us from having another imbibing. So we can just sit here and talk. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I can't. I cannot do another. No, that's fine. <laughs> yeah. I would love to. Well, maybe I can uh, do a shitty version of this. Of no, this no, 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 no. Let's, let's do it as a, let's do it as a home run. All right. Yeah. Monte Teo signed as a bear. In case you were wondering, I just oh, saw that alert. Right. Yeah, his girlfriend now lives in Chicago. I get a lot of work, uh, alerts, as you guys have pointed out. So I knew him when he. So he's been with the Saints and the Chargers. Did I point that out? Did I, I think point he was drafted by the Chargers, and then um, he went to the Saints. I don't know about the Saints, but he was Notre Dame had his fake girlfriend. Yep. I didn't know until just now that he was signed. Catfish. He yeah. became famous for being catfished. Yeah, he, catfished. he became like the even though. So child. he didn't know. Well, that his girlfriend was fake. He thought she was real. Is that is that the idea here? Well, I don't know. Yeah, so he he didn't know that she, it was a not the person they said they were. Yeah, I feel like catfishing is just the norm at this point, right? Doesn't everyone over promise and under I'll never get divorced because I can't date in this current environment. I don't know what that's like. It just seems so tedious. Yeah. I mean, I don't like. Know. I'm gonna get catfished, and I'm gonna get like you know. Well, I mean, you, or pl- whatever. plus you love yeah. Caterade. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I know. Yeah, that's. I mean, that's a huge part of it. But yeah, I'm saying like, and and like, let's say like, and she knows. Happened, she I knows Kara tea. I'm just done. She knows Kara tea. She knows Kara. She knows Kara and tea guy. Yeah, we and do tea know, guy. Yeah, she knows a Kara. And a tea. And tea guy. Tea guy. Tea guy. You're Why both? is there no space in between the E and the G? You know, that's that's all I want to know. Aesthetics, I mean, karate guy. I'm just reading literally, okay? 
Kara Tiga. I didn't even think about that until now. I just see it as There's no again. space. It's just one word. And that's why I read it like that. I have to justify my position. I want to know what the spot you guys, is about. You know, you you guys won this argument, and and I'm willing. It's to, not about winning. It's I'm, about, I'm willing to uh, to concede. It's about. But the reason why I read it the way I did was that there's no space in between the E and the G. No, the reason why you read it that way is because you had a ten percent. I also prior. wasn't paying attention yeah. to what Matt was saying. Yeah. So I didn't hear him it's say important. karate guy. And the ten percent beer. The ten percent beer too. is the biggest influence on why you did not get that right, mm-hmm. and that's fine. All right, that's why we do this. What do you guys eat before you come here? What do we eat before yeah. I what come here? What do you here? eat before you come here? <laughs> so on Tuesdays or Brews days, as we call them, or Taco house, Tuesdays, or Taco Tuesdays, I have a peanut days. butter and jelly sandwich, and that's it. Oh, all that's you more than that. That's so, all you've had all yeah, day. Yeah, I eat carbs because I'm coming here to drink. That's so, all you've had all day. Yeah. My my okay. So my lunch is the same every day, especially now that I'm back Which at work. Is what at, three pistachios and, <laughs> at, and a banana sausage. at eleven oh one at at ten at ten fifteen. I had a salad with uh, ten fifteen. Beet well, that's lunch. That's yeah. lunch, and that's a late for lunch Matt. for him. And that's my first that's like first meal of the day because because I don't eat I don't eat breakfast. Yeah, I don't eat breakfast either. So um, a spinach salad with uh, beef tips. Um, Love spinach. Today was broccoli and shredded carrots. Because it's always a cruciferous That's vegetable. So you've had it's no always... carbs all day. Those are carbs. They're just simple carbs. Well, yeah, simple. Yeah, yeah spinach. Yeah, no carbs. It's like two. Okay. I ha- if, if you want, if you want to know, then I don't. I don't really. No. I don't oh, okay. Know. Well, right. Good. You can no tell me. To know. You can tell me. No. No. But I feel like you guys are upset that I asked. I'm not. I'm on not Tuesdays, I eat a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. That's what I eat. I'm more concerned with my uh, with um, being hydrated properly mm. oh, for I, this. That's that's my biggest concern. That's a good point. Mainly, I'm way under hydrated. Mainly because I do have to do some driving after this. Yeah. And, right. That's, and I, that's I, yeah. And I don't want to have to stop to go pee. Yeah. So I actually intentionally dehydrate myself a little bit. In order to mm. make it to my house without having to stop to go pee. Okay. So that's that's kind of the way I control it. But eating wise, I have a I have a kind bar for breakfast with some pistachios, actually, um, and then I had a turkey wrap for lunch. Cool. And, and that was it. All right. So now that you've done and your analysis, you've had, what do you think? You've had nothing right. but a peanut butter and jelly. Yeah, that's that's it's, it's about. It's about on par with what you guys are having. <clears throat> you guys aren't eating that much either. No, I don't. Yeah, I, yeah you're right. It, it's a spinach salad every day at the same time. It just depends my protein changes and the cruciferous vegetables. I'm changes. at that age in my life where I got to not do that. All right. I not mean, do what? Eat terrible eat. shit. Oh, yeah. No, I don't understand how people go down to the cafeteria and eat cheeseburgers every day. I mean, that's why they're blowing up the fucking bathroom at, you know, 1.30. Well, I was about to say, you've smelled the bathroom, so... I fucking hate it. I don't get how these people can <laughs> eat, like, a full fucking meal. This is the problem. Uh, I want to I wanna hear this what grinds his gears. Off, yeah. this, no, you know this what grinds JT's gears? Right. There, there's there's, three there's three fucking worthless gears. people working at our in our facility. That's the problem. That's it. That's period. <laughs> yep, there's worthless right. people who can eat big, full, dinner-sized lunches. Yep. And just like go back to their desk and spend the rest of the day doing fucking nothing. Yeah. Yeah. Fine. Yeah. That's the way. It, that's the way it goes. That's the way it goes. All right. A lot of pieces of shit. <laughs> A lot of real shit. No, are, bags. You, are you are you saying in the toilet because they don't flush? Both. Or? Both. Walking around the building and clogging it up. Clogging it up. There's a lot of shitty people. Have no of, skills, right? No skills at all. I, I want to say this with bathroom no habits. Skills. A lot of people, a lot, and you've they hit on eat. this before. No. Double they, cheeseburgers for lunch. lunch man. Less people washing their hands because they rely now on the outside the door. You know, you know, I've reverted to calling people out in the bathroom for that. Oh, if, I would. I would. I'd, I l- haven't seen Less it people. Not at, not it, at doesn't, doesn't it doesn't, it doesn't bother me, but now since you've said it, I, I know people I that say just it. pee. And just walk out. I say it. I say it. I, I, I speak out. Yeah, I would. If I saw it, I would. I, 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 I say it as I... 
so there's an instance <laughs> where I was on the toilet doing the old number two, mm -hmm. and I heard an individual come in, use the urinal, and then I heard the door creak as he mm. opened it, and I yelled. I said, I yelled, wash your hands. Yeah, wash your hands. And never came back in and washed his hands. Oh, yeah. What a piece of shit. I'm just, it's... On his podcast, you're that guy. It's just disgusting. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, cause he has on wall liquors, like yeah. oh, this wall tastes like lemon today. <laughs> yeah, wall liquors. His podcast, podcast is... is don't wash your hands. Yeah, how can you do touch, that? Touch doorknobs after you touch your dick, and touch a mouse, and touch mm -hmm. keypads. Touch everything. Touch everything that other people have to touch it's, after you touch your dick. There's people down in the cafeteria like, oh, do I want this salad? Take no. it. Oh, nope, I don't want it. Yep. Now you got their dick on your yep. hands because you bought that salad. Yep. You it's, got dick skin follicles. Su yeah. Such such a racket. That's why I used to have this guy who used to, used to say in the Navy, he used to say, do you wash your hands because your dick's dirty? Or do you wash your hands before you pee <laughs> so you don't get your dick dirty? I love, and I was like, no, you wash your hands after you pee. Because your dick's dirty, dude. I, I like that that was an argument ever in the Navy. Yeah, no, it was an argument. This guy used to wash his hands before he peed. But he washed his hands. But before he peed. Yeah, because he didn't want to get his dick Because he dirty. thought his dick was cleaner than his hands. Which probably, well, I mean, he's it's, got an argument. I can't prove him wrong. Yes, you Let's can. That. Like, you I can don't have to prove it. him wrong. I'm not going to swap his dick. That's well, you swab a lot of you you swab decks in the navy. Swab deck, D E. C. You swab decks in the navy. Yeah. Your dick sits so in your pants, and it's and it's sweating. It's crushed and, in there, and, and it's crushed. And it's crushed. I don't know it's fucking what kind of underwear you wear, but my dick's not crushed. Well, yeah. it's well, it's he's. It's not that you're a big elephant around. around. We call him old elephant. Yep. Timothy you old elephant. You got a chest of boxers. Tim Timothy old elephant. <laughs> um. Either way, wash yeah. your fucking hands. Wash your hands. Wash Just, your If you want to wash hands. them before so you don't get your dick dirty, then sometimes, wash them. also wash them after. You know, sometimes when I'm sitting at my desk, I get up from my desk and I go to the bathroom strictly to wash my no hands shit. because they don't feel clean. Yeah, I that I have a uh, hand sanitizer. I have hand desk. sanitizer as I well. Hate, and I hate the feeling. I hate hand lotion, sanitizer. Feeling. Hand sanitizer does not make your hands feel clean. Mm -hmm. It. I understand that. Technically, it cleans your hands of germs and bacteria, mm -hmm. but it does not satiate that feeling of, I need to wash my hands. Mm -hmm. So sometimes I go to the bathroom just to wash my hands. Yeah, I don't trust that soap. I don't trust the soap either, but you know, it I feels trust the good soap. to run the I hot trust water. the soap. I trust the water. I don't trust the paper towels. You, you don't you trust, trust the water in that building? Oh, I don't the trust the... Worst the thing. water's the worst thing. Um, PFAS it all in that water. Oh, what is in that water? PFAS. What's that? Um, one of the chemicals that they use to extinguish fires in like a dry chemical. Mm -hmm. Alright. It was on one of the 20... Essentially your, hand, your hands are flame retardant. Yeah, and so you can just Great. put up flames. Burn them. We'll test that out. We'll just light a flame. Do it. You can do it. Alright. It won't hurt. Not at all. Good. It's the, it's the paper towels. I have, I have paper towels at my desk. Poop particles. <clears throat> well, I've always had poop particles. That's why in both bathrooms that I utilize, the magazines are gone now. Since mm. Corona hit, the magazines are gone. Usually they had a stack of magazines on the floor. That's disgusting. Yeah. On That's the floor. absolutely disgusting. Even before in, Corona. In, in, that, in that building. That they is... didn't steam clean or nothing. Like... They, they, they send these wonderful people around that um, do the outside of the doors. They don't do the insides. Most of our bathrooms are pull. Thank you for doing the outside. Because it's push on the way in. I can you know push with my fucking knee or my shin or yeah. whatever. Lots of things occur with my feet and knees. I thought you were anti-feet and knees. On your way in, I don't care what. You, do it with your fucking butt. I don't care on your way in. On your yeah. way out is what I, where I care because it's pull. What about flushing? You, I flush with my feet, and I taught yeah. my kids to flush yeah, with their feet. Fling yeah, shit you're over. flinging shit all over. But if everyone does it, it's not a problem. No, you're you're two steps ahead and one step back. 
if everyone did it with their hand and just wash their hands, you wouldn't have to worry about it. You, but you're you're not going to wash your hands and then go back to the stall to flush. Yeah, I, your shit's already dirty. You're, flush with your feet. Fuck what, what, what bathrooms. What, but what's on the floor? Mm. Yeah, tons of awful, nasty shit. Ew. <laughs> flush worst. with your feet. Don't touch that shit with your hands. Because you know, you already said, not everyone is flushing with their feet. Just work from home. So you're a vector. Just work from home. I'm Car- a vector? You're a carrot tea guy. Oh, yeah. You're Because you're putting that shit on, yep. on the handle. You carry it. You're like a mouse. Yeah. Carrying germs and diseases. Rabid. That's your carrot tea. That's mm-hmm. fine. Carrot tea guy. That 10% fucked this whole podcast up. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Steve. It's, yeah. No, I think it was a good podcast. Steph, you just railed it. JT, hit us home. And that's it. Episode 110. What else you got? Bye-bye. <laughs>